The second thing that we see is in verse 3. Uh, verse 3 says, Now Israel loved Joseph more than any of his sons because he had been born to him in his old age and he made richly ornament and robe for him. The second thing that we see that happens that causes bad blood is favoritism. And remember, when we talk about relationships, we're talking not just about family relationships, we're talking about business, we're talking about friendships, we're talking about church, any of those things. The second thing that happens is favoritism, and favoritism is a character that is contrary to the nature of God. Romans 2.11 says, for God does not show favoritism. Period. Ephesians 6, 9, he who is both their master and yours is in heaven, and there is no favoritism with him. And what that passage is talking about is that God is, is not showing favoritism towards Gentiles or Jews. Those who come to him, who belong to him, are not, are, are not going to be shown favoritism one over the other. James 2.1 says, look, my brothers, as believers in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ, don't show favoritism. When you show favoritism to somebody, then what you are doing is essentially creating bad blood. If you think that I like somebody better than I like you, immediately there's going to be a rift between us. There's going to be a problem. Now, be very, very careful that you don't confuse favoritism with pleasure. You know, the idea of that I just enjoy, I, I'm able to communicate with somebody better than I am with other people. You know, have you ever tried to communicate, for example, with Don Martin? Don Martin was with Dunn and Bradstreet. The guy understands like business and economy and all of that stuff. Try talking to him about that sometimes. I don't have a clue what he's talking about. You know, he was telling me the other day about something that I need to do in my business. And I said, oh yeah, that's a great idea to do that. And I got in the car and I completely forgot what it was. He said that, you know, what is that thing I'm supposed to do? You know, that piece of paper or something thing. See, it's, I, you know, we're, we're talking on two different levels. We're talking two different languages. And, uh, but, you know, and, and I talk to somebody else who understands my business, and we're just talking voiceovers, and we're talking business, and so on and so on. Now, somebody could come along and say, well, you like them better than you do Don. No, it's just that I don't understand Don, you know? <laughs> so, and enjoy the club. Okay? This is what happens a lot of times in relationships. We're, we're, we, we're talking two different languages. That happens in, in couples. Have you noticed that women talk a completely different language than men do? Have you figured that out? You know, when I'm talking to Marcia sometimes, I'm thinking, what planet did that language come from? Because it just doesn't make any sense to me. And I finally figured out that most women are space aliens anyway. You're just waiting for the mothership. <laughs> and I don't understand that language sometimes. You know, and so there is a, there is a difference, a miscommunication sometimes. And, and Marcia said this one time, I remember she says, you like your friends better than me. No, that's not true. I can communicate with my friends better than you, but that doesn't mean that, you're a, that they're a favorite. And it's only through your mercy.